Hey what's up guys welcome back to our channel technology and today in this video I'm going to show you guys how to fix your HP laptop keyboard problem so you just need to follow me so first of all what you have to do you need to go to your my computer so if your touchpad is working on your laptop then you can use touchpad like me or else you have to use an external mouse okay so after uh, enable external mouse on your keyboard just go to my computer and right click on this pc so right click over there and go to manage tab so once you have get this screen what you have to do you need to go to device manager and now as you can see here in my case keyboard is showing over there if in your case keyboard is not showing over there then just don't worry just go to your settings just go to your start menu first and after that click on settings button over there and now what you have to do you need to scroll down and you have to click on this update and security option now from the left side corner you have to select troubleshoot so here is the troubleshoot as you can see so now you have to scroll down and you have to find keyboard over there. So one, once you have find keyboard click over there and click on run the table shooter. After that it will automatically detect and fix your problem. So it will take some time. So once it is done close this window and close this one also. Now what you have to do you will able to see your keyboard over there okay if you are not able to see the keyboard over there then you have to restart your computer and after that go to this device manager tool and now what you have to do you need to right click over there on your keyboard and go to update driver just expand that option and and uh, just right click on your keyboard and go to update now what you have to do you need to click on this search automatically for update driver software or click on browse my computer for driver software so i will select here search automatically see so if you have a internet it will automatically update your driver once your driver is updated successfully you have to restart your computer and after that it will fix your problem so I hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button and share button and if you have any calls or questions then comments down below. I will see you guys on the next one next video. Take care.